welcome to this Friday's Friday Waffle and again I'm cheating slightly because I'm actually making this last night if that makes any sense just I thought I'd uh, change it up a wee bit um, scenery wise I mean I've got this absolutely beautiful uh, comfortable leather suite which I very very rarely sit in um, I mean I've got my big TV just behind where my, my, uh, my tablet is and uh, you know I very very rarely sit in it don't know why, uh, I need to make more use of it. So anyway, how the hell are you? I hope you're all uh, you're all staying safe and keeping well. I'm fine. Um, it's just <laughs> funny, I met my mate uh, in a car park. This one's dodgy. I met my mate in a car park uh, tonight. Um, we're in our respective cars. Just, uh, just for a catch-up. And uh, what were we talking about? Yeah, I was just basically, he was asking me, you know, how are you? And I says, you know what? I says, we, we saw each other about a month ago and I kind of feel like, uh, I said, I thought to myself, what the hell am I going to talk about? I says, because we're not doing anything. <laughs> and that is a fact. You know, every day feels like Groundhog Day. You get up, put your computer on, you work, you switch it off, uh, take the dogs out for a walk, have some and tea, uh, go to bed and uh, ditto every day but uh, yeah glad to see the weather has improved slightly I mean it's still it's still far from a uh, summer you know but compared to uh, the, the excellent weather we had was it maybe three weeks ago I think it was the weather's still still basically shite but anyway you know living in the uh, living in the UK especially Scotland you do get used to the weather being crap but you know if it wasn't for the weather we would have absolutely nothing to talk about so on that uh, on that note have I got anything to talk about I've not prepared anything at all I've got a few questions there which I will get to shortly from a, a video games perspective what have I been doing I've been uh, you'll probably be thinking He's done nothing, the lazy bastard, because he's not put out any videos. Now, I think the only video I think I've put out this week was the Sid Show number four. Now, that was actually recorded a couple of weeks ago, um, but, you know, it does take a, a fair bit of editing. I know you probably don't think so, but it does take quite a lot of editing to put these videos together. So, that's what I've been kind of doing this week. I've been doing a lot of editing. Um, I've got another collab video, which I it's currently rendering, is it? 33% just now I was actually wanting to get that put out tonight i.e. or sorry last night which is tonight which is Thursday because I'm conscious that I've not really done any videos at all other than that one and I do want to change that because I don't want I don't want to become a channel that only does only does live streams because I think if you go down that road then you're sort of you're moving away from what you can kind of sit out to do and if that makes any sense. I mean I do really enjoy doing live streams, you know, collaborations, whatever. I enjoy the the whole, you know, just uh, getting together with people and you know the in interactivity. Um I enjoy that aspect aspect of it. And it makes kind of like doing normal videos seem a bit kind of mundane, but I'm conscious that, you know, people want to see normal videos rather than just constant live streams. And that's what I do. I do enjoy making videos. Uh, and I just need to be a wee bit more, uh, a wee bit more disciplined. Uh, because what, what I tend to do is I'll record, I'll record them. And I'll maybe not do the voiceover and then they'll kind of sit in my computer for a couple of weeks. So I need to kind of try and get a bit more disciplined and start getting more regular content out. Uh, I am conscious of kind of slipping a wee bit in that side of things. Now one thing I was uh, I was talking to, I was talking to, it was Panther UK. And a few people had mentioned this, I think it was Colin Jones had mentioned. He says, look, why don't you do live streams on Twitch? Now my immediate reaction was not not interested. Uh, YouTube's where I do my stuff. Now anyone that watches my live streams will know that the last couple of weeks uh, <laughs> I have had a few technical problems. Um, one of them was a hardware issue. I can't remember what the other one was actually. 
But yeah, I have had a few, a couple of sort of dodgy weeks where actually one of them, the, the, the sort of the, the text or the live chat thing, it got completely out of sync with um, the rest of the video. So when I was talking and you guys were commenting, I wasn't getting to see the comments until like 10 minutes after. So anyway, getting back to Twitch, now here's the thing. As much as I always say I don't do this for money, you know, I don't do Patreon. Trust me, it can be tempting because I watch I watch a few live streams and when you see some of the money these guys are bringing in, you're like, bloody hell. <laughs> but you know what, I won't ever do Patreon. It's not something that I'm comfortable with asking. Not even asking for money, I would not be comfortable receiving money. Not from people, I'm quite happy to take the few pennies that I make every month uh, from YouTube, but you, I would not be comfortable, um, you know, accepting money. Like I say, I know it's a thing that lots of people do, and there is nothing wrong with it. It's just not. It's not my bag at all. But getting back to getting back to Twitch, apparently, it's you can you can make more money out of of doing it on Twitch. And it's meant to be, Twitch is apparently a, a, a sort of a, a website, call it whatever you want, that's been set up purely and simply for streaming things. So it's basically set up better to stream than YouTube is, because YouTube can be a complete pain in the arse. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to kind of, it can be a bit of faff, YouTube. So what I'm, what I'm planning to do now, what I've been told is, you know, you don't have to, for people to watch Twitch, you don't, excuse me, you don't have to download any software. You just basically go to a website. So rather than going to this channel, uh, you would go to Twitch Main Meister or whatever and you could watch the uh, watch the stream and that. So what I'm, what I'm going to do, just for an experiment, I'm going to open up a Twitch account. And I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll, I'll continue to kind of announce it through Facebook like I do at the moment. I'll, uh, I'm going to set up a Twitch account and I will give my, uh, one of my Sunday uh, live streams, I'll do it through Twitch and see how we get on. See how we get on, simple as that. Apparently it does, it does kind of, like I said, it's meant to be easier and potentially it allows other people to kind of watch your content. Now, I know I'm kind of being a wee bit um, hypocritical what, what, what I'm going to say now because I'm constantly going about I'm happy just with my little, you know, my little posse, <laughs> my little group of mates and Yari and my mates and that is nice but, you know, I would it would be nice if for other people to kind of get to see my stuff as well so if doing a live stream on Twitch maybe allows other people that may have never ever you know, seen my channel to kind of watch it, then, you know, why wouldn't I want to do that? So that's what I'm planning to do. Like I says, for you guys, there, there is no difference other than instead of clicking on my YouTube channel, you'll click on the link on Facebook and it will take you to my, uh, to the, 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 the stream, I think it is. Like I says, I don't have an account, I've never tried it, um, but it's meant to be set up specifically for live streaming. So I'm going to give that a go. Um, and I'll, I'll let you know how we get on with it. The other thing that I've been uh, doing this week, and f I'm one of these, uh, I wouldn't say I'm, I wouldn't say I've got a OCD, but when it comes to video games, I've, you know, I've got thousands, and I literally mean thousands, probably hundreds of thousands, of ROMs and games and all that kind of stuff and what <clears throat> I would hate to, I absolutely hate to think of how many hours I have spent in my life probably over the last 20 years basically since I got the internet um, <laughs> just building up collection of ROMs and games and renaming files like I mean to give you an example of my sort of like OCD-ness is if I got a collection of ROMs, say for the Spectrum, I could not play, like, I would hate it if the file was called, instead of calling it Manic Miner, 
it was called like M minor or MM or whatever it is. I've got to have the name so I know exactly what it is. And so I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours over the years renaming files um, to make them more kind of user friendly. Now I've been going on about this uh, coin ops thing. I did do a live stream a couple of weeks ago. Um, I've got to say, you know, just kind of falling on for that. Uh, I mean, I might actually, I might actually do a proper video where I just kind of show off because the live stream was kind of just uh, it was playing games. But I may actually do a, a specific video for the coin ops. But uh, it's it's an awesome collection, and there are so many games you can download. So I've been uh, going daft downloading sort of packs of games and that kind of stuff, ROMs and all that sort of stuff. And uh, to give you an idea of uh, scale or size, my CoinOps folder is now over 2 terabyte. Yep, that's 2,000 gig. <laughs> now, you know, I, I spend, I basically, my, my computer over the last week and a half has effectively been tied up full time downloading stuff. Um, and what I thought to myself, what happens if uh, the hard disk, I mean I've got I've got this 2 terabyte of data on this new hard disk. I thought what happens if this uh, drive just stops working as, as what does happen. So I thought to myself, right, you know what, I need to get myself another drive. So I bought myself a, a 5 terabyte drive, just a little plug in one, which I'm slightly disappointed because I noticed that the speed of these little, uh, small little USB powered ones, the speed is a lot, lot slower than one of the kind of, kind of big plug in ones. But I don't think I would ever run software off uh, a kind of portable USB one. But uh, the reason I bought this was I wanted to have, I wanted to basically back up this stuff because I know how, well, excuse the French, I know how pissed off I would be if, uh, the drive that I've got all this stuff on had an error, stopped working, I've effectively lost all this stuff. So what I did was, like I said, I bought this other uh, 5 terabyte drive and I've been copying all the, the sort of coin up folders across from this 10 terabyte onto the 5 terabyte. And uh, I mean, it took, it took, I'm trying to think how long. It certainly wasn't as long as when I was backing up initially because I was, I was taking data off a kind of a, a, a dodgy kind of drive, which I think I mentioned last week. But it took, excuse me, it took about a day. Excuse me. <clears throat> I need to remember to breathe when I'm talking. Because I tend to, that's why I get hiccups, because I, I don't breathe. Um, yeah, it took about, it took over a day to copy all these files. And like I said, my computer over the last kind of week has just been chock-a-block copying files, downloading stuff. And I really need to kind of stop that and actually start playing stuff because I kind of I kind of joke about it to my daughter and you know partly serious, partly uh, partly true or sorry partly joking. If anything happened to me, my daughter is going to get everything. Absolutely everything that I own is going to become my daughter's. Um, chances are she's going to. She would look at all these drives and she wouldn't have a clue what, what was on it and she would just erase them. She would just format the drives or whatever, you know. And <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this, uh, this kind of tale, but the, the point is I spend so much time just organising stuff, organising game files and that kind of stuff. Instead of actually sitting down and just enjoying the games, playing them properly, you know, that's what they were written for. They weren't written to be duplicated and backed up in multiple machines. You know, let's 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 just stop doing that, Alan, and enjoy the game. So that's what I need to start doing. So, I mean, I've now finished uh, backing up stuff. I'm not going to be downloading any more stuff. I'm going to just start enjoying it. Because, um, like I say, that coin ops thing, it's, it's absolutely awesome. I mean, it's... If I never had any other games to play at all other than that coin ops, that would keep me in games for well, the rest of my life, quite simply. Talking of games, uh, Last of Us 2 got released, I think it was, was it the 16th, which was that yesterday? 
don't know what day it was, that was two days ago. I was going to buy it, uh, I still will buy it because the la the original Last of Us is one of my favourite, it's not just one of my favourite, it's, it's my favourite PlayStation 4 game, but it's it would be in my top 10 favourite, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be my top 10 favourite video games, but it would certainly be my top 10 favourite current games, if that makes any sense, modern consoles, I mean I, I still look upon the PlayStation as being quite a modern console. Um, but yeah, I want to get it. I want to get it before I start getting spoilers. Although that was a game, I think some hacker uh, got a hold of the, the code, ripped out all the, the cut scenes and put them up on the internet for people to watch, which is just daft because all that's doing, it's serving no purpose other than completely spoiling it for everybody else. So I do want to get that. Um, I might try and pick that up maybe in the next couple of weeks, I think. Not that I don't have any games to play. I also need to get, I mean I've, I've touched on this as well, I also need to get uh, my VR video done. I was playing, uh, what was I playing, I was playing Half-Life Half Alex, is it called I think? A couple of nights ago, for about an hour. And uh, whilst I'm not a fan of the movement, I mean, you can have like smooth movement whereby you hold it forwards and you move. But you put that in a VR and I will physically be sick. I can't play it for any more than about 30 seconds. And when I switch it off, I do feel physically nauseous. I know uh, Bangkok Ian, he's, he's absolutely fine with that. Lucky bugger. He can play these games. And I think it is more immersive if you're playing it like that. But what I've got to do is I've got to do it whereby you kind of teleport. You use the left hand uh, gamepad and you basically move... You move this little invisible, can you, well not invisible, this little outline of feet to where you want, then when you let go of the stick, you can you automatically uh, jump over. But I've got to say, the immersion in Half-Life, this Half-Life game, is just unbelievable. You can pick up things, you can pick up watering cans, you can pick up tins of food, and you're holding it in front of your eyes, and you... You want to believe that it's real because it is so real, you know, um, it's just, it's incredible, it really, really is. But like I say, that's the only thing about, I don't know how, I don't know how I'm going to play it because I'm assuming if it's anything like the original Half-Life, there's going to be bits where you're getting jump scares and you're having to kind of run away from things. So I don't really know how that's going to pan out using this kind of, uh, you know, kind of transport uh, mode, I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, as far as being immersive, it's just absolutely incredible. So that's kind of been that, if I've not been copying games, I've been transferring files, um, and I think Half-Life is with the only uh, games I've been playing, I've been playing a few games for a couple of videos that I've been making as well, but uh, that's kind of been about it. So anyway, listen, I don't want it for this to drag on too long, so I'm just going to attempt to read Comments without my glasses. Um, oh, right, can I see that? Okay, right. Kicking things off is ye oldie gamer Steve. Great waffling as always, mate. By the way, your streaming Sunday ended without China Miner, which you know is against the law. So in order to be forgiven, you need to play V in the Spectrum for 20 minutes whilst chanting, I will not do it again. <laughs> I was that close, Steve, that close for uh, playing China Miner because, yeah, it's myself that always says it as a law. You can't have a mean mice or live stream and not play China Miner. Um, will I play V in the Spectrum for 20 minutes? Hell no, I wasn't that bad. That's uh, that's torture beyond the belief. <laughs> but uh, I do promise um, this coming Sunday when I'm doing my live stream, I will... Uh, I will, I will definitely end with China Miner. I do quite like the picking a, a, a company and playing the games. Now, I've not decided what one I'm going to do this Sunday. It will be 7 o'clock on Sunday. There will be another live stream, but I've not decided what games I'm going to play. Um, but I do promise you, Steve, I will indeed finish with China Miner. Um, mad moments go, you reminded me of Gordon Freeman from Half-Life when you put on your glasses. <laughs> It's either that or Walter White out of Breaking Bad, yeah. And Panther UK, superb speedy panic at the end waffling, mate. 
Yeah, if you watched uh, last week's Friday Waffle, I realised that I was basically running out of uh, space on the iPad and it was basically telling me how how many seconds I had to go, so I basically had to rush the last few questions. Thanks for the channel plug, that's really good of you and means a lot to me. For anyone uh, umming and ahhing about doing a live stream with uh, me and my stuff, I didn't know if I would really want to be in camera until I tried it. To me, I'm just talking to my mates with a little bit of input from the comments. You have to accept that not everyone will take to you and just crack on. Nearly all of the people that watch this channel will turn up for the live streams as a supportive bunch, so go for it. Yep, as I keep saying guys, anybody that wants to take part in one of my videos, um, the only stipulation I would make is you've got to be a regular. You know, I, I wouldn't want somebody appearing once um, or a couple of times and wanting to come on a channel. You know, I really, it would need to be somebody that I kind of know. But uh, any of my regulars that want to take part, you know, whether it's a me and my son Chums Talk Pish, take part in a live Friday Waffle, whatever, just give me a shout, you know where I am. The PS5 looks like a skybox. Uh, yeah, I saw a picture of it for the first time the other day there, and it does look a bit like a skybox. So, question for next waffle. Do you ever play mood games? I'll explain. I used to have a job that drove me insane, usually anger from inept management. So to relieve tension, I used to put on a frantic shoot 'em up and dish out some Rambo cell justice. Always made me feel better. Um. I don't have a go-to game, but absolutely, there's times where um, I'll just be so fed up or like a bit wound up and I'll just load up, I'll load up R-Type, I'll load up uh, Berserk, whatever, you know, arcade games are my go-to uh, platform, you know, absolutely, it's a fantastic way to just kind of cut yourself off from, uh, from, from, from real life and just shoot shit, basically. So, anyway, Panther, thanks for the question, buddy. Right, uh, Mr. Jones, Colin Jones. Hi, Scorker Fuffle. Yes, I'll be live streaming my submission again, probably Monday. Oh, good stuff, Colin. In fact, I did actually watch that. I watched your uh, your Gunsmoke one, which you actually uh, you submitted late. I think you put it in on, uh, was it Wednesday, I think it was? Was it last night I watched it? I think it was. And it was cut off on Tuesday. I don't know if Lewis is going to change that, I'm not sure. I think you really need to try and get your, your scores in for Tuesday night. Uh, there's not a lot that can beat ice cold coke when you're thirsty. Yeah, I was talking about that last week. Live streams for me take a lot of arranging. I can do them as you know, see above, but never really thought of a collab. One day I might be able to join, uh, arrange the time to join in though. Well, just let me know, Colin. The most expensive game I've ever uh, played is Ingress, but the cost of that has been travel and accommodation for live events. <laughs> Looking forward to more minimalistic reviews, they're short but oddly hilarious. Yeah, uh, my main master minimalist review is just what it says in the tin. I review a game and the entire video, including the intro and outro, takes about 22 seconds. So, yeah, you can probably guess what that uh, they're pretty short <laughs> and I will try and get some more done for the next waffle PS5 reveal I'm guessing you'll not be going for the digital version what are your feelings so far I've not paid a lot of attention Colin to the PS5 uh, I mean I do know that, that they were meant to be doing a, a reveal uh, last week and because of the sort of Covid thing they've decided to you know, they, they reckon it's not the time and place for uh, good news at the moment. But I, I tend to disagree with that. But anyway, I do respect what they're saying. Yeah, I, I was... What was I looking at? There were, I was looking online last night and apparently there is going to be two versions. A digital one and one where you can buy the games now. Um, from what I gather, they reckon it might be about 50 quid a difference. They don't seem to know how much it's going to cost. But... I will absolutely, unless the price difference was like hundreds of pounds, I will absolutely go for the one that you actually have to put a game in. Um, not interested in digital downloads um, only. You know, the hard disk that you've got can fail or anything. So, no, definitely, Colin, I'll be going for the, the old style one where you have to actually put a game in, whether it's a CD, cartridge, SD card, I don't know. So anyway, Colin, thank you very much. And Fred Blogs, good waffle. 
Question for would sorry, would you consider making a Discord channel? I'm sure a lot of your regulars would love a place to chat gaming together without using Facebook. I'll be honest, I've got no idea. Um I see that you go, I'm just that's interesting. I've just looked at a comment gamer the oldie gamer Steve has said I'd been that like a shot. Can people please explain to me what Discord is? The only person that I know that uses it is my daughter, uh, Ava. So am I right in thinking, is it, is it kind of like Facebook? Is it, you have a, a page and people contribute? If you guys can convince me to do that, well listen, what I'll maybe do is I will, I will take that one away. I'll take that as a, a, a bullet point for me to, for me to, to, to uh, address. I will look into Discord. I'll uh, try and set up a Discord page. Presumably that's what you need to do. And I will post it in maybe next Friday's waffle if I get a chance to do it before then. I'm, I'm kind of old school. You know, I stick to any Facebook. I stick to YouTube. But, you know, there are other... There is other technology out there. And like I said with uh, the Twitch... If Twitch is easier for me to stream, apparently it's, from what I'm gathering, apparently it's more reliable. Uh, people reckon that Facebook, so not, not Facebook, people reckon that, oh, bollocks, my phone's got 5%, so I better be quick. People um, reckon that, uh, that Twitch is, like I said, it's geared to streaming. That's what the whole thing is. It's all streaming. It's, uh, it's more reliable, you don't get as many issues, you don't get the same delay. So I will look into that and I will absolutely look into Discord. What I might do is my daughter's coming over uh, on Sunday. I might speak to her and ask her to help me set up a Discord page. Um, but interesting that, you know, Steve just has just commented saying he'd been like, he'd be in like a shot. So I will definitely look, look into that. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much, Fred. So I'll, I'll certainly check that out. And next is Lee Wilson. My platformer Windows a 64-bit blah, 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 with a retro ZX Spectrum look should be ready for testing the basic system. All right, sorry, you know what? I, I didn't really get... So you're right, you're in the process of writing a platform game, Lee, um, and you're asking me if I'd be interested in, in can you be a test in it. In fact, I did reply to that. Absolutely, yes, please, Lee. I love helping other people out, you know, it's, and it's always a bit of a, I always feel quite privileged that people would want to give me a copy of a game that's kind of out before it kind of gets general release, so please let me know, just uh, give me a shout Lee, send it across to me mate, and I will, you know, I'll quite happily bug test it, if you want me to do a kind of review type thing in it, I'll do that, so please, yeah, send it across. Lacosa, I've not taken part in the gaming high score thing. Because aside from Berserk, where you chose a ROM, uh, a ROM I didn't have, I hated every game chosen. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, right, Ox, Spectrum owners got it quite rough back in the day when software houses put C64 screenshots on the back of their covers. Oh, really? Did that actually happen? That would be a bit uh, kick in the balls. Or even worse, screenshots of the arcade version. Yeah, that was always my pet hate. You picked up a game, you looked at the cover, you thought, that looks good. You turn it over and it, the graphics would look amazing and it would say, screenshots from arcade version, other versions may vary. In other words, the other versions are going to be a pile of horse shit. Delboy 3 k one always miss Friday due to work, but hopefully the pandemic settles down a bit. I would love to be part of something you do. I, ha I have so much history I think about helping all the time, but then I suppose I get shy and just watch. Hope you like 3D Sen and thanks for the reply. Look forward to Sunday, but I really have fun. Yes, uh, Del Boy sent me this uh, 3D Sen, which is it's a it's kind of an emulator and uh, what or it's not an emulator. It basically takes NES games, 2D NES games, and it turns them into isometric 3D. It's really clever. And I'm going to, uh, I'm absolutely going to do a video. So yeah, thanks for that. But listen, don't be shy. You've got nothing to be shy about at all. As I've said before, if somebody wants to just come on a, a, a pre-recorded, you know, we just record it, I'll edit, put it out. That's absolutely fine. 
Conversely, if you're happy to go on a live stream, just let me know. I mean, it does take a wee bit, it can be a wee bit intimidating uh, doing a live stream because obviously the minute that goes live, there is no room for error. It's just you out there, whatever you do, whatever you say, people are going to see it. Um, I suppose it's worse when it's just yourself. Um, I'm completely used to it. It doesn't phase me at all. Um, I completely muck things up all the time, but I do understand that not everybody uh, is comfortable kind of knowing that other people are watching them live, but, you know, absolutely not a problem, Dale Boy. Just just let me know if you want to go into something. Uh, Bangkok, Ian. Hi, Alan. About the movement options in the new retro arcade. Sorry, but I can't remember me. I, uh, I far prefer continuous movement over teleport movement. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Uh, talking about, what do you call it, Half-Life, it's called teleport movement, and that's that's the kind of movement that they use in VR games for people like myself who've got dodgy tummies. Um, like I say, I'm very envious of you, Ian, the fact that you can play with the smooth movement because it does it does give you a, a whole new kind of uh, level of immersion. Uh, I need to be quick because this phone's going to run out. Down the rabbit hole, Kevin, for the Friday Waffle, hi Alan, you may have already discussed the PlayStation 5 reveal, but I noticed a lack of any of the promised backwards compatibility Sony hinted this console would have. Is that a big deal for you? Is that right, Kevin? Um, I was looking at comments in a forum, and uh, the, the impression I was getting uh, that it was going to have backwards compatibility with like the PlayStation 4, it would be nice if it did have that because technically you could get rid of the PlayStation 4 but you know what, that's not going to happen. Um, I've still got I've still got my PlayStation 1, my PlayStation 2, my PlayStation 3, I've got two PlayStation 4s. So it's not really going to be a deal breaker for me but I think it would be nice. It would certainly, it would certainly encourage people to upgrade. You know, if the fact the, the the thing about not having backwards compatibility is people who've built up a massive collection of games, they may have to sell the PlayStation Four to get the PlayStation Five, and the thought of going from like maybe fifty games to zero, that may put people off. You know, uh, upgrading. Um, I don't know, but I do understand that companies they're always looking forwards, they're not looking back, so. That's why, you know, when people complain about backwards compatibility, oh, it's terrible. You know, I think I think if a machine is backwards compatible, it's a nice extra. But I don't think you should ever expect it because they're trying to improve technology. They're trying to give you more and more. Um, and like I said, backwards compatibility, if it can be done at not a lot of price, then that's fine. But, you know, I don't think it's something that people should really expect. Um, like I said, for me, it's not going to change anything. I will still get a PlayStation 5 and I'll still be keeping my PlayStation 4, my PlayStation 3, 2 and 1. So it won't really be a big deal breaker. Uh, I've gotten down to 4% on my phone. Secondly, there's a new Star Wars dogfighting game coming out for PSVR. And you just know I'm buying it from day one. <laughs> However, I'm on the fence about buying a flight controller because I find too many controller setups just tend to be a lot of faffing about. Do you use anything like a racing wheel anymore? I don't, Kevin. I mean, I've got a, I've got an Xbox uh, controller in there, and it's fantastic. But I just never use it. I don't know why. I mean, actually, I tried it um, on Coinops uh, the other day there. I was playing Outrun, and wow, what a difference. I mean, it is. It's fantastic, but... It's bizarre, I think, just the fact that I've got to go into that drawer, unplug it, or not unplug it, take it out, plug it in. Um, it's just too much hassle, so I tend to kind of stick to game pads. Um, so, no, I don't use any big, big uh, specialist um, controllers. It's just, uh, it's, I, I think for me, is I don't play any game long enough to warrant it. You know, if I was playing, like, Project Cars, or... Drive Club or whatever it is, Project, uh, not Project Gotham, what do you call it? Uh, oh, I can't remember that one, Forza, yeah, Forza uh, 4, whatever it is. 
if I was playing these games constantly, then I may be inclined to uh, dig out a controller to use it. But I, I tend to jump back and forth between games all the time. So I don't uh, care to answer that. I really don't use any specific controller. And finally, on the topic of racing games, which kart racing title would you see you have played for the most time out of all kart racers ever? Uh, simple one, it's going to be Mario Kart, the original on the SNES. I am a big fan of uh, Mario Kart 8 on the Switch and the Wii U. I don't really know what I don't really know what the difference is. I think they've possibly improved it on the Switch, but I've got to say the on the Wii the Wii U version is absolutely fantastic. Um, they've just basically taken the original and the graphics, and you know it just looks and sounds amazing. But no, if I was going to play a kart racing game. It would always be the original because I don't. I wasn't a fan of uh, the N sixty four one. I quite liked it on the GameCube. I uh, can't remember what it was called again. It's not bad. It's a quite quite a good version. But again, the the original SNES one would always be the one that I would uh, I would go to. So listen, Kev. Thank you very very much. Um, and lastly, Melfi Swinbuckle. Hello again, main Meister. Question for the next waffle. Oh, this is a big one to finish with. Uh, if in a year or so this bloody lockdown isolation situation repeats itself, do you think that the new craze of virtual reality might get used more for holidays than gaming? If you know uh, the Red Dwarf episode better than life, could we be heading for something similar? Imagine for a moment in this current climate, how good would it be uh, to be sat on a virtual beach with a haven of scantily clad virtual hula girls <laughs> dancing around you. Their soft, bouncy and slender tanned bodies slipping and sliding, twisting and jiggling as they cavort to the music and... <laughs> Fantastic. Right, that's my question. Go to take a cold shower now. Um, I don't think as... As much as I am a fan of VR, it will never replace real life, you know. Um, no, it, it never will replace life, but I mean, or real life. But this is a thing that I've always said. There must be so many, like, good uses that they can put, you know, that, that they can use VR for. I mean, people who are unfortunate, they're maybe bedbound, they're maybe paralysed, they're maybe in a wheelchair or you know they're not able to leave the house and you know I can't even begin to imagine how difficult that must be and so having like been able to escape albeit just through virtual reality with a headset because trust me if you've never actually tried VR the immersion that you get is absolutely uncanny it really is I mean it's you know the fact that you can pick things up and all that I could just imagine, you know, that being used. You know, why don't they? Why don't they bring out like a forest walk or walking along a beach or walking through the hills? It could even be used, you know, for like old people who've maybe got senile dementia or you know Alzheimer's, that they can just revisit, you know, a past, a past time in their life. Um, you know, there's so many good uses that it can be put to. As far as, like I said, as far as it replacing real life, I don't think uh, right now that VR will ever, ever replace uh, being able to go on holiday and, uh, yeah, watching all these scantily clad... Uh, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, enough about that one. But uh, the answer is no, I don't think it will, Milfy. But, you know, I'm a huge fan of VR and it is incredible what they can actually do with it, but... You know, I don't think it's ever going to replace. It won't replace being on holiday, but it's a nice. It is a nice kind of escapism. I mean, it's bizarre. You could be sitting, getting attacked with God knows what in, in Half Life, and you take your your headset off, and you're sitting in a darkened games room, and it's like midnight. You know, it's it's absolutely bizarre. So anyway, listen. That's the last question. Um, yeah. I just want to say, finally, thank you very, very much to everybody that watches my channel. 
Um, I noticed the subscribers seems to have completely uh, stopped. I don't know what's uh, don't know what's going on because I was kind of picking up I don't know maybe two or three subs every day, but I noticed the last couple of weeks it's kind of actually dropped slightly. So is it something I said? And it could possibly be the fact that I'm not actually putting out you know much new videos. Um, but I do plan to kind of rectify that and start getting out some of the old kind of the old favourites. So anyway guys, listen, I'm going to be along on uh, Sunday night at uh, 7 o'clock as always. A uh, topic to be uh, to be agreed. So hopefully you can join me then. Uh, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely weekend guys. Until next time, thanks very much for watching.